Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to and today we're going to talk about personal cloud. Yes, we're going to install a free copy of Nextcloud on a web server. Just follow me and I'm showing you how to install via Soft Oculus. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to my panel. I got the uh, domain already set up here called mycloud.home. Then I'm going to choose Softaculous. If you go like me, for example, uh, CWP control panel, all you got to do is just go to script installer and press Softaculous. You'll be redirected here where you're going to choose the HTTP or TPPS is up to you. Again, I'm going to choose my, my cloud home. I want to install it in the root directory, the data directory. Uh, you can just leave as it is if you want to. It's much easier if you create a random uh, directory structure. Let me make it a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm going to choose the username and password. I'm going to choose the email address. Again, I'm going to leave it as it is. The language is going to be in English and I'm going to press install. It depends the actual speed of your server. It shouldn't really take that long. So the actual installation has initiated and uh, all we got to do now wait for the installation to complete. Here we go, the installation has been completed. We're going to refresh the page here. And as you can see now, the, the application has been loaded. And all we got to do now is just log in with the, if you remember, the details that I put on, it was admin and the password. So as you can see, in no time, we have uh, installed a copy of Nextcloud on the server. Now, think of Nextcloud as a your own personal cloud. Uh, there are many applications nowadays that you can use, uh, Google Drive and uh, many others. To find more information, don't forget to go to the nextcloud.com website where here you can find all the support information and of course the community uh, page where you can find more details if you have any issues going back here as you can see there are already some um, some of the files already available here you can see you can have a PNG PDFs mp4s and so on and so forth here are all the files and like you're using other you know an application you can uh, you know you can create and you can upload any files you want you can actually have a favorite file so favorite folders of course again it depends your um, web server that will also influence the the way and the speed of of the application um, I like to install an you know, application like this on VPS. On shared hosting, you will have uh, some problems. Um, it's quite heavy program, so uh, you know a small VPS will uh, will do the job much much better. Here we got the activities of the app, photographs, and to get the. Um, settings you can go to the top icon here on the right where you can actually add on the settings you can actually have more users as well if you want and add extra apps i'm going to go through with you now in a second here you get the settings for the main um, admin uh, logins where you can actually add the, the language your email address addresses whatever you want to really use it 
I'm going to the users where you can actually have a list of all the users as you can see here go back to the settings and I'm going to show you that as you can see here you got uh, privacy security activities and again mobile and, and desktop of course there are um, application that you can actually add on your mobile phone and it doesn't matter if you got an iOS or you got an Android phone and we also got the app for Windows OS X and Linux it's quite easy to use you just need to download this free and again it's very simple it's just having your own uh, or own cloud really you know and um, you don't have to pay anything you just don't go to pay your own um, uh, your web hosting there is another way you can do it you can actually run it from your home if you want to if you got a static IP and that is also easy to use and again it will give you more a little bit more flexibility and the best way to do as well you can actually run it with an IP rather rather than we had with an actual uh, domain name if you wanted to as well uh, thanks again anyway for uh, following me for this tutorial and I'll see you next time